Most likely Zoogles, I would reckon. I mean, other than them. So, Alfin, how many of these mausoleums do you think we've sealed up so far? Oh, I've lost track. They've been all over the world by now. This journey's grown longer than I expected. Say, Fion, are you, uh... Are you getting tired? No, I'm fine. Uh, why? Do I look tired? Have my clothes gotten a bit messy? Oh, or my hair. Uh, or maybe I have bags under my eyes. No, not at all. It's just as beaut... They're battle-ready as ever. What I'm trying to say is, you're not forcing yourself to do this, are you? What do you mean? Just that maybe you'd rather live a calm life somewhere, you know? Away from fighting. You can wear whatever you like. Alfin, it sounds to me like you're misunderstanding something. I'm not forcing myself to do anything, okay? We're the only ones who can seal the mausoleums, right? I'm doing this because I want to. After all, I could hardly live in peace knowing the world's still in trouble. And these clothes? I wear them because I like them. I chose all of this for myself. This whole journey we're on? I want to be on it with you. To travel with you. That's why... Why, even now, I... Uh, 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 well, that's good then. Sorry for the strange question. Okay then. I guess that's the end of that. Come on, let's go, Alfin. Right. Let's go, Shion. Are we really going to fight that? This will be a delicious piece of cake! Right. Right. Lunar Corruptor! Huh? We barely managed to turn that battle. You don't need to sound so much. Get behind me. I've got to put more faith in you. Leave it to you. I certainly won't argue. Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Come on, Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! Don't get careless. It'll be a breeze. Get in and get out! I'm not done! Eat this! Break it up! I'm not done! In here! Huh? The flame and pushing forward! But don't go too far. Stay hey, close. When did I get so popular? We got flyers. I got this. Let a marksman handle it. Pass through. It's just All yours. Great. Amazing. Amazing. Now, shut up, Law. I'm trying to focus. I was only trying to be nice. technique because you really trust each other, right? Hmm? Oh, yeah, that's right. You could say it's like a reflection of our bond. I mean, I guess that's true. Still, it feels awkward when you say it like that. An opponent like this could be easy. Take this! I will carve through one! Here! Through it, get it! Take 
Small fry. You guys want to rest here? Is something wrong? No. I was just remembering the last time we came through here. When we were hunting for Almadria? Right. So many terrible things have happened to Niez since then. Sometimes it's overwhelming, you know? Hey, if you ever need to talk, I'd be happy to listen anytime. Same goes for all of us. Yeah, I know. That's why I think I'll be okay. yawning just now. You're just imagining things. What joy to be... be sated. May I know this satisfaction... That new weapon looks nice.
darkness. Get lost! Here I come! Don't you think you've saved up enough power at this point? <laughs> I was just waiting for the right moment. Stop being shy and just go for it like you always. Commander of Heaven, Phoenix Cyclops. Let's keep our eyes on. Right here goes. Strike. Dragon! Anything in armor is wrong! Dragon! You picked the wrong fight! Dragon! You're mine! Do it! Blow them away! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. This will be a delicious piece of cake! No further! Huh? You are a kid's Soon as I'm done here, come help out. How could a girl ever say no? These little... Demons descend! Flashing back! Easy! Yeah. Way to go! Pesky airborne scoundrels! Sounds like a good job for yours truly! Ruin you now! Spear. Swallow dance! Well then, I should probably think about tonight's menu. There it is. That's our target. Gotta break through. Chance in the wind. Hut, 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 Here's Prepare to be sealed, though. All the way here and now. Actually, perhaps the sound is more appropriate. Let talking more. I think we've wiped out enough of these Zoogles by now, right? It should be safer for a while. All right. Let's report back to Mahavar's crew. No backing down! This ends now! Consider yourself fitted! Nice! We're in good form! Great! Don't let up yet! You fight well together. Does that also come from being friends? Run out of ammo! Inferno turret! Now! This ends now! Consider yourself fitted! With your flames and my technique? We're stronger together than we are apart. Let's go! All right! Hmm... <laughs> okay! What? Sea travel. 
Mahavar and his crew seem so free. I think you'd make a great sailor, Law. I'd probably enjoy sailing as well, if I didn't get so seasick. City. Don't worry, we're right here with you. We've arrived. This is Vicent, where Danans and Renans live as equals. Equals? Even me? Yes, I personally guarantee it. I know it's hard to believe after Nies. We felt the same way when we first arrived. It may do you some good to observe the city while we're on our way to visit Drashen. Who's that? He looks after everyone who just moved here. He'll help with all the procedures you need to go through. <sighs> you might as well check the place out. You can decide whether to live here after that. Okay. Is it your first time in Vicent, Nazamil? Yes. I always tried to avoid getting too close to cities. Then how'd you end up in Nies? I happened to be nearby when the worlds merged. I didn't know what was happening, so I fled there for shelter.
This city feels gentle somehow. Well, well, it has always been a fertile land, but maybe the close relationships between residents play, play a bigger role. So they get along well? Kisara, I've learned a lot traveling with you. Oh? About what in particular? Cooking. Getting to finally cook together again after so long has made me realize just how amazing a chef you really are. I need to take the opportunity to watch you at work again while I still have the chance. Your cooking already has everyone coming back for seconds. I don't think there's anything left to teach you. Oh, but there is! Not only do you season things perfectly every time, but your movements are so quick and precise. Compared to you, I'm just a novice. I hope you don't mind if I swipe a few of your techniques. You've really gotten into cooking, huh, Xi'an? <laughs> well, as usual, she still buys a ridiculous amount of ingredients. There's no such thing as too many ingredients. And can you blame me for wanting to try out every new recipe we've- I can relate. Trade between realms has flourished within this past year, and with it, the availability of exotic ingredients. It's the same in Vicent. The people there have been experimenting with food that incorporates a wider array of flavor. You're telling me brand new gourmet cuisine is being invented all over the world? <sighs> I want to try making and eating all of it. Eating the food is one thing, but isn't it hard finding and learning a bunch of new recipes like that? Yeah, you make a good point. In the past, Kisara has always been there to help me. But I'm not so sure it would be as easy on my own. In that case, I'll put in the effort to learn some new recipes myself. That way I can teach you the next time we meet. You will? Of course. I'm not one to back down from a new cooking challenge. And besides, I really do appreciate your faith in me. Why don't we all just go to Kisara's every once in a while? You teach the rest of us too, right? Cooking classes with Kisara? I think I'd like to join in on that. Very well. I'll take on all of you. Uh, are you gonna teach us? Or are you gonna fight us? Okay, who's, who's gonna be it next? No ask! Does it strike you as odd for Renan and Dan and children to play together? I'm not sure. I never played with kids my age, but I could tell that those children don't care who's Renan and who's Danon. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's always such a relief to come back here. I know what you mean. Being on edge all the time is exhausting. Kisara? I am. They wanted me for my experience in the previous conflict. Yikes. I bet she's super strict. Indeed. Apparently her recruits have nicknamed her the Demon- Ugh. Where could Drashen be? And that's what he said. Can you believe that? <laughs> Come on, you've got to be kidding me. It's true. This really is a masterpiece. How come you're able to live together? Huh? Why wouldn't we? Because Renan's and Danon's are so different. Well, we do have our differences. I can use astral arts, for example, while he, as a Danon, cannot. But 
My friend here can move much faster than me, and he has a splendid singing voice. Well, your sculptures are beautiful enough to adorn the palace. There's more to appreciate in our differences than find fault in. Plus, differences in our individual abilities mean little in the course of day-to-day -day life. I... I don't understand. Well, we certainly take a different approach around here. I could see it being confusing if you're not used to it. It looks to me like you're friends with Lord Dohalim. Maybe you could talk to him as well. Lord Dohalim is the only reason we're able to live like this in the first place. It's all thanks to him. Really? That is what they say. What do you think, Nazamil? Are you starting to see how things work around here? I can see that Renans and Danans get along with each other, even if I still don't understand why. Didn't we find a recipe that... Yeah, we can use this for it. Do you see yourself living here? Yeah. I, I think I'd feel safe here. Good. Then all that's left is to meet with Droshin. Both the Danans and Renans do look really happy. Of course, there's still the odd dispute, but that happens in any large city. Lord Dohalim, and the rest of our heroes. If you'd given me more warning, I'd have prepared a better welcome. That is not necessary. I no longer rule Menencia, after all. More importantly, we have a request. I'd be happy to do anything in my power, of course. This is Nazamil. We'd like you to arrange for her to be able to live here. Understood. Aren't you going to ask if I'm Renan or Danan? They'll ask during the formal procedures. Not that it matters much. There is one thing that matters, however. Whether or not you agree with this realm's ideal. Well, what do you say? Can you interact with those different from yourself without prejudice? I'm not sure yet. But I think it's nice that the Renans and Danans here don't fight. That's good enough for me. There is a screening process, but I'm sure you'll be fine. Recently, many Danans and Renans have tried to move here for our realm's abundance. Yet, they take issue with our principle of coexistence. That's why I'm more than prepared to defend our ideals. Oh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. A room at Ottolina Palace will be provided until she has her official residence. At the palace? Not at the inn? It's a good way to make use of our many spacious rooms. The palace is now public property, after all. We'll show her the way there. I appreciate that. Oh, by the way, Lagiel was wondering when you'd be coming back. Lagiel? Understood. I'll go check on her later. Don't Alfin and the others also live here? Only Kisara and Rinwell at the moment. Alfin and Shion are always traveling. Oh, I see. What is it, Nasamil? Nothing.
Tisara and Dohalim. Living together in the palace, huh? I myself am simply being provided a room. By who? Tisara? <clears throat> what did you just say? do for fun in this palace when you want to kill some time. Hmm. I suppose you could read a book in the library. Or compose a poem, perhaps. That can really make the hours fly by. How about going to... The courtyard. It'll be easier that way if someone comes calling. What's this thing?
Menencia always soothes my soul. I no longer rule here, but it still pleases me to hear you say so. You deserve some credit, man. Menencia couldn't be what it is now without your help. He's right, Dohalim. Still, it has plenty of room to grow. That's right. Which means our work is far from over. Let's do everything we can to help Menencia improve, bit by bit. to cook something? Yes, I might be able to create a new dish with this. Do you want to see what it tastes like? Sounds like you want to see what it tastes like. That is a rather inconsiderate thing to say. But it's true, isn't it? I'd say it's more foolhardy than inconsiderate. Well... Seriously? Uh, then again... You might have a point. Looks like they're enjoying themselves. What did you find? See what's going on around here. Yeah, there might be someone who could use our help.
Oh, yeah? Great! Hmm. <laughs> Law? Whoa! Yes! <laughs> A place where children can learn as much as they want. That's going to be indispensable in this new world. That means there will be more kids like Rinwell. But that's a good thing, right? It's a super good thing. Let's get them everything they need. What are you doing? I'm ta talking to the kitty. That isn't a cat. your face stuck in a book as usual, huh? All sorts of things. Ancient accounts, histories. Just recently, I was reading a book about astral arts. So what's the point? Does this, like, make your astral arts stronger? No. I just read because I like to learn. Though, it is also helpful for my research. Research? Mm-hmm. For example, I'm looking into whether it's possible to combine Dan and magic with Ren and astral arts. I'm also interested in the mausoleums and Dana's past. Okay. I'll admit, I'm not totally following. But, uh... Is there a purpose to this research? Like a goal? A purpose? Hmm. Well, I guess there is something I'd like to try someday. I want to try writing my own book. Instead of just reading what others have written. This is the first I'm hearing of it. What kind of book do you want to write? I have several ideas I've been thinking about, but most of all, I'd like to write about Dan and magic. Leave as much of my knowledge behind as possible, you know? And also, if there are any other Danans out there who can use magic, like me, maybe that book could help me find them. Wow, you've really thought this through. You're amazing, you know that? What's gotten into you? I'll have you know that flattery won't get you anywhere. Law is correct. All the knowledge you've gained on Dan and Magecraft would be lost if not made manifest. That book would serve as a guiding light to scholars for generations to come. You're gonna embarrass me if you keep talking like that. It's no big deal. I just like to study, that's all. I know what you mean. Whether books or art, 
There is an indescribable, fragrant allure to those things that have traversed the ages. Yeah! Who doesn't like the smell of old books? Uh, yeah! Yeah, totally! They do smell, uh, yummy, don't they? What? La, please don't eat my books. So, you like that flower, huh? The Rose of Unity. It's said to be a symbol of Rena and Dana becoming one. Is that why you like it? It's a flower that's neither Renan nor Danan. I guess it reminds me of myself. And yet... It grows everywhere. How can you be so calm about everything, Elfin? What? You mean about being the Sovereign? When I was in Niaz... No, not just then. In other places, too, I heard that the Blazing Sword is Rena's enemy. It's Destroyer. Danans think so, too. They look at you differently. Like you're something apart from them. How can you be okay with all that? It's not like I don't have feelings. Nazimil. Are you scared of me? It's true that together we did overthrow Renan rule. But we didn't do so out of malice, or because we were trying to hurt people. Please believe that. I do. From the very beginning, when we first met, both of you have tried to help me. The daughter of a lord? Half Danon? A test subject? 
Finding out more about who I am didn't change anything in your eyes. You still protected me without prejudice. It was the first time I experienced that, and it was nice. So because of that, I, um, I wanted to say, um, thank you. I should be the one thanking you. Huh? I didn't want anyone to get unfairly hurt. And when it seemed like they would, I vowed to use all my power to protect them. That's what I've been fighting for. So in the end, Hearing your view on things makes it all feel worthwhile. Thank you. Um. <sighs> sure. We can't always have our actions understood by others even when we believe we're doing the right thing. What you said is very encouraging. People tend to judge others based on birth or background rather than what they've actually done. Everyone has their own assumptions. Though the world has changed, people's hearts and minds don't change so easily. Even so, I... What should I do? I... I want... I want to help you, Alfin. I want to be useful. What should I do? Oh. That's, um... Hey, you guys! The room's ready! Uh, right. Got it. Let's go. We can discuss this more later. Um... Okay. Well, let's head to your room. You can stay as long as you want, Nazamil. No one will bother you here. Right. 